How to make a proper Bonita strip. Or make a strip. Look like this. <clears throat> First thing you do is you slab out your Bonitas after your trip. Try to keep them on ice, keep them out of the water if possible. If at all possible. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Like that. Sorry about that, folks. Put that there like that. And then we're gonna grab a slab. We're gonna start stripping. So let's move these pretty done ones out of the way. Just make a pile right there. This is the scrap meat. No good. Alright, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your knife flat to the bonita. And you're just gonna cut through that spine. You're gonna try and keep this from going too deep into the fish right now. Because you don't wanna you want it to lay open. Once you take this big fat piece of meat off, this is gonna lay open a little better. If you try to go too deep, too fast, you're gonna end up cutting this belly meat and cut through the skin. If you cut through the skin, you can forget about it, it's over. So then you just take your time and you take a couple layers of this off. So you're just thinning this meat down. Try to get underneath that belly without getting too, too close to it. And then as you go, you can get a little bit deeper into it. You see how that meat just comes right off. And once you get down to about a quarter inch thickness, you just use the, the knife like a scraper. And you just scrape the meat. Just like you would for uh, spicy tuna rolls or whatever. Kind of the same thing the Japanese do for the spicy tuna. And once you got this thinned down to where you're comfortable, Sometimes if there's a little tendons on the end, you just kind of want to trim those off. Just trim that a little bit. So that end piece looks good. Give it a couple more scrapes. So now it's nice and thin. So next step is, now it's like a triangle. You're going to cut this top of the triangle. You're just going to cut it flat, straight across like that. Throw that in the scrap bin. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this piece of meat facing you. And you're gonna feel the grooves and the grain of the meat going from front to back. So this can be the top of your strip, this is gonna be the tail. Because you want you always want the meat going through the water where the grain is gonna be going this way and the bait's gonna be going that way. So that your strips don't wash out. Because if you cut these upside down or backwards, all this meat will bubble off and the strip will look funny in the water and you'll have to change it out in about five minutes. First thing I do is I make a little curve and edge. It's all about how you hold your knife. So you want to kind of be very careful where you place that knife. Give it a little bit of a 15 degree angle as you cut. Make sure you cut from front all the way to the bottom. All the way to the tip of the tail. And then I'm going to show you this. When you go to separate that strip from that piece of meat, you're going to notice that it's perfect. You take that whole piece of meat and then you're going to continue that process let's see if this camera still holds up there so you're going to take that strip and you lay it in the done pile and you continue that process you're going to do the angle this way now angle away and you're going to angle towards yourself or you're going to angle that way so you angle that way and then you angle that way with your knife that way when you're cutting you got a good angle and edge on these strips that way there's, you almost can see, see that really nice fine edge on the meat there. Where it's, I mean, you can pretty much see how perfect that strip looks. It's nice and thin, beautiful white strip. It's gonna have real good action going through the water. And then you continue that process. So it's a very simple thing. It's just uh, learning how to do it right the first time is important. The angle of your knife is critical. Um, you can go all the way down into this red uh, bony meat and still make absolutely beautiful strips. Out of a slab. Out of a slab of Anita. This is something every good fisherman or charter fisherman 
you know, we've been doing this for a million years. We used to slab out hundreds of bonitas a day in the summertime, especially in August when they've come through. And then we'd save these year round. See how pretty that one is with the stripes on it? You know, these are, I like to use these for the surface baits. I like to use the silver ones down deep. Surface baits, that extra color, it looks good. That darker contrast, get a lot more bites on the darker ones on the, on the surface baits than I do on the, uh, on the silver strips. But look at that beautiful color. I mean, you can't get prettier than that. So basically when you're done, you're going to have five or six strips. Usually you can get at least five or six out of each side that are going to look like this. Just beautiful, beautiful strips. That's not really the way I cut it. It just looks funny because it's sticking to the table. But yeah, that's... A beautiful set of strips and then you take them you roll them in some some foil throw a little salt on them and they'll last a very very long time hope you guys enjoyed uh bonita stripping 101 got a few more slabs to go before those things go bad